Realme is almost ready to launch the successor of last year's GT Explorer Master Edition. So, the GT2 Explorer Master is around the corner and we have got a ton of leaks about it, before the official statement from Realme. We are going to look at all specifications which are floating on the internet and find out if the upcoming premium Realme phone is worth the hype. First up, the Realme GT2 Explorer Master is set to have a AMOLED display with a curved edge design which we are used to. The phone will weigh around 200 grams and the design and dimensions are set to be more or less the usual. Although, the triple camera setup on the rear from the leaked images looks interesting and we must wait for confirmation. White, brown, and green are rumored to be the color options, let's see how true this is when the model comes out. The 6.7-inch Full HD plus AMOLED screen will support a 120Hz refresh rate and the panel will be able to emit a billion colors. The in-display fingerprint sensor is a much-expected spec. The latest Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chipset is expected to power the phone and this is a big positive news about GT2 Explorer Master. This processor upgrade is notably to be a big selling point as the performance is going to be enhanced for sure. Out of the box, the phone could run on Android 12 based on Realme UI 3.0, and we must get all the good features we expect from a premium phone. Flexible RAM options are going to be there, as the leaks say the phone should come in 6, 8, and 12 GB RAM variants, that combine with a non-expandable storage of 128, 256, or 512 GB. The rear camera module would consist of two 50MP sensors for wide and ultra-wide and with this a 2MP depth sensor is expected to join. The selfie cam will be a 16MP sensor and this must be good enough. A 5000 mAh battery will be packed with this Realme GT2 and we are yet to have confirmation about either the 80W or 150W fast charger. So, most probably the battery department is going to be strong with respect to GT2 Explorer Master. The price of this phone is expected to be lesser than the Realme flagship models, and this is great as we get a more powerful processor than the GT2 Pro. The release date of the GT2 Explorer Master is not certain yet, but the phone is set to be released first in China very soon. We can expect to have an official announcement in the coming few weeks so let's wait for it. Let us know what you think about this phone in the comments, thanks for watching, bye.